my mom just called me so I'm on my way to go to her house to see what's going on she saw all she could say was something's wrong with my dad so I'm heading that way say a prayer please Well, hello. I don't even know how to start this today. Um, I'm sitting on my dad's back porch and, um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a long day. Two days ago, I came over here and, um, arrived to paramedics, to, um, ambulance, all of those things you know, and came inside to see them all in my dad's house and to see my dad. And it was a, it was a long day. It's been a long couple of days, you know. T today I think is going to be the worst because today's funeral day. I, I tell you, you, you switch, you switch into, I guess the easiest way to describe it would be survival mode, you know. And you just do what you have to do to get through right now. Someone even said yesterday, said, Lord, just get us through tomorrow. And I'm thinking, I'm still trying to get through today, you know, um, to get us through right now. You know, we'll worry about tomorrow later. Uh, God is good, and he's good right now. And I'm thankful for that. You know, I think after everything's said and done, and I'm home, and it's quiet, and it's just me, then I'll then I'll have my time, you know, to grieve and to fall apart. But right now I'm standing uh, with my mom, you know. I'm being strong for my mom, for my family. And uh, I'll have my time whenever the time is right for that. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys how much I love you. Tell you how much faith is real. Um... This is his back, this is his backyard, his garden, but it's nothing like where he is now. Nothing like where he is now. Thankfully, um, my dad left a legacy of faith. Um, there's no question in any of our minds where he is. He's a strong, faithful man. And uh, he was my friend, he was my buddy, you know? Um, I hope that I leave the same kind of legacy that he does. And one of the best things that we can do for our families, men, is to not leave them with question about that. Not to leave our families wondering where we are. What makes it survivable is the fact that we know that this is not all there is. We know Jesus. We know his peace. We know what he has done for us here. And when we pray, y'all, this is the key. When we pray, we pray to a God that has been there. He knows what death is. He knows what it is to lose his son. He knows what it is to be separated from the father, you know? And so now I'm going in to take a shower, wash this nappy head, get cleaned up, and go say, see you later. I'm not saying goodbye. That's what I'm doing. So there's lots of family in the house. Um, 
surrounding my mom, which is great. Lots of laughter and stories. I keep finding myself wanting to be by myself, you know? Wanting to uh, just try to wrap my mind around everything that's happened. I can't, I can't wrap my mind around it all. But that's okay. You know, there's nothing really wrong with that. Um, that's just, yeah. Sometimes I feel almost angry, you know? Angry that I don't have more time with him. Angry that I didn't spend more time with him when I had time to spend. I hate seeing my children hurt so much and my mother hurt so much, you know? Tonight, I'm gonna go home for the first time since Monday and today's Thursday. And I'm gonna leave her here alone. It's gonna be very difficult. I'm just praying for that peace that passes understanding. The outpouring of friendship and comments on Facebook from folks that I've not even ever met before. You guys, sanctuary, you know? Un unbelievable. Well, I can't even read it all. You know, there's so much that at nighttime I'm just taking a few at a time and just reminded so much about how how many people are are there and i'm so thankful for what the real church is right the body of christ that comes together from all over the world literally i've been encouraged from all over the world it's amazing amazing you know i'm gonna miss my friend I would never want him to come back here though. You know, uh, if we could see him and what he's doing and where he's at, we would never want him back, you know, but I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him so much. It's selfish, <laughs> right? It's a selfish thing because I'm so heartbroken for me, but it isn't about me. But I'm going to miss him. Gosh, I'm going to miss him so much. But he's... He's much better off. And he loved Jesus. He loved him. And because of that, I don't have to worry. I'm thankful for a lot of things, you know. I'm thankful for a lot of things. And God is good. He's good. He's righteous. And I serve a creator and a king that loves me. And one day I know, one day I know I'll see my dad again. <laughs>